Hey everyone, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. We have been discussing about all the latest features which has been recently introduced in the latest version of Tosca. So let's continue with our next topic. And this is about uh, closing any particular program using the T-Box modules. Now previously we used to use uh, process operations or um, the T-Box open program to basically close uh, any particular programs. It could be your notepad, it could be your browser, or any process which is running on your particular machine. But now Tosca has uh, introduced a specific module which you can use to close any particular program. It could be an application, it could be a process, and uh, they have also added certain uh, parameters through which you can wait until uh, application is closed or you can directly close the application or you can also verify whether that application is running in the background uh, with the help of either the process ID or uh, the process name or even uh, the application name which could be your uh, page title or your application title. So let's see how we can use this particular module uh, to close any process uh, which is running in the background. So uh, let me open um, our workspace. And here we have been working with the 2024 features. So I'll continue to work uh, here and let's create a new test case. We are going to call this close program. Okay, um, and then uh, we will add the test step, which is uh, the T-Box module. So we'll search with uh, close program and this is the particular module which we have to use now there are certain parameters which we need to understand here so there is the ID there is name um, there is the main window title and there is the command line right now you have to provide one of these uh, different parameters in order for this module to work so either you have to provide the ID or you can provide the name or you can provide the main window title okay uh, you cannot provide both of these um, if you're using id don't provide the name um, or if you are providing the name and window title no need to provide the id right you can also provide uh, a command line operation so these are basically uh, entering the command line parameters uh, for your application to work with right so if you know your application works with certain parameters which you can pass through command line you can directly mention it here uh, and then there is uh, the operation so here there are a couple of operations uh, so there is close f exist so what it will do is it will close the specified application or process uh, if it uh, is currently running and uh, it exists uh, in your machine then uh, there is the close operation which will directly close the application then there is wait on close so basically it will wait until the specified application uh, is closed by another process or user so it will depend on uh, what you have set in your t-box synchronization timeout in your settings okay and then uh, the last option is uh, verify program exists so this will basically verify whether your application or process is currently running in the background so uh, let's uh, get started. Um, so how do you find all these um, ID and name, right? So one easy way is to go to your task manager and from there you can go to details, okay? So these are all the processes which are currently running uh, on my machine. And from here you can actually find uh, the name or the ID. So the PID, which is the process ID, this is uh, what you need to provide. Uh, either you can provide this or you can provide this, right? And then the main window title would be like uh, the title of the application or the window which is open on your machine, right? So these are the three things uh, which you can use to close any particular program. So let's go ahead and uh, start an application. Say for example, the notepad application, okay? So I will start this. And then uh, if I go and look at my process, you will see uh, 
that it will contain a notepad uh, application and it will have its own process id uh, like this right so this is the process id and this is the name of the application which is notepad.exe so what i can do um, is i can directly provide this particular id so the id here is 28052 so let me give it here 28052 okay and then what i want to do is i want to first verify whether this particular application is actually running in the background or it exists okay so for this uh, i can choose an operation verify program exist and then um, i can run this So we'll get uh, a pass here and uh, you will see in the log info that uh, it says process with this ID exists, right? Now what will happen uh, if I give the name as well here? Like I said, it will not work. Uh, you cannot provide both here. Okay, so if I go ahead and run this now. So you will see that uh, the test case will fail. And uh, if we look at the log info, here uh, it says that uh, when ID is specified as input parameter, no other input parameter is allowed, okay? So either you provide ID or you provide name. So let's go ahead and remove the ID now and let's try to run it with name. So if I run this again, uh, so the test case failed. Uh, maybe we don't need to provide this exe so let's try it again okay so this time uh, around it passed so uh, we don't need to provide the dot exe uh, you can just provide the name of the process which is running in the background and in the log info it says one process exists okay so these are the ways uh, you can verify whether the program exists or not and now um, if you want to close that particular uh, program right which is the actual thing which we want to do so we can use uh, either of these three operations so wait on close close or close if exist let's use close if exist so we don't need to actually put a verification step because it is actually doing the same it will close only if the application exists okay so if I run this now you will see that uh, the notepad was closed right so there is no notepad now so uh, it closed that particular process um, and uh, if i want to try the same for maybe for the browser okay so if i choose chrome here and then i choose uh, maybe close okay so if i run this so you will see uh, now the google chrome uh, it was open on my desktop but now uh, that particular program has closed right so you can easily close uh, any particular process or any particular application program which is running in the background uh, with this particular module you can see it has closed all the 15 processes um, which were running in the background because when you start a browser it starts a number of different uh, processes right uh, in the background so you can close all your processes or your applications before you actually want to start running your automation it's a very uh, common scenario uh, you want to do a clean swipe before you start running your automation just to make sure that there are no false positives or um, your automation run is not impacted right so uh, this uh, close program is a very useful addition to uh, the standard subset uh, you can find this under the process operations. So now along with the tbox start program, you also have a tbox close program. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.